sheets. Hello. Hello. Have a seat. Hello. Hello. How are you? All right. Now, hello. Uh, my name's Greg. Okay. And this is Chris. Hello, Chris. And we're going to be your oral examiners today. Okay. We're going to record the exam. Okay. It's only for the purposes of marking. Okay. 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 That's right. Okay, so uh, first of all, you. Uh, what's your name? My name is Paul. Paul. Yeah. Uh, how do you spell? How do you spell that? B A U. And you, what about your surname? Barbo. And oh, how do you spell that? B A R B O. All right. Okay. And what about you? I'm John Semra. All ah, right. Okay. And how do you spell your so John? Is that right? Joan. My oh, name. Joan. My oh. surname. How do, you, how do you spell Joan then? J O A N. Right. Okay. And your surname? S E M D. Uh, 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 ah, A. Okay, okay, good. And uh, Joan, where do you where do you live? I live in Cataroja. It's, in Cataroja. A, it's a small town near to to the capital, Valencia. Uh huh. And how long have you lived there? How long? Since all my life. Since oh, yeah. I was since I was born. And do you like it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what about you, Pal? I uh, I live in in Calicanto. That is a mountain uh, town. Uh huh. And I lived there since I was uh, more or less young, more or less I was uh, 12 years old when I uh, went to live to Calicanto and I like this. Is it, is it better than Cataroja or...? Uh, depends, because uh, in Calicanto there aren't a lot of people, <laughs> but it, it's so quiet uh, and there aren't uh, very noisy. Okay, okay. And, uh, okay, Pau, what do, you, what do you do in your free time? Okay, uh, I haven't got a lot of uh, free time, but in my free time I, I like to watch uh, football matches, for example, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm studying uh, journalism uh, and uh, I want to talk about of this when I, when I pass the, the degree. Uh, and uh, another thing that I like, for example, is going to uh, the cinema with my girlfriend mm -hmm. and uh, do a sport with my father. Okay, that's great. And uh, Juan, um, what do you like to do in the evenings? In the evenings? Uh -huh. uh, in the <coughs> evenings, uh, I have a problem that because I used to wake up uh, too, too late, uh -huh. if, right, I'm, okay. if I'm honest. Uh -huh. But uh, for example, uh, uh, on Saturdays, I go to play football with my friends, uh -huh. always in the morning, and then we, we eat uh, something, uh, a sandwich, and, uh, Something like that. Okay, that's, uh, that's great, that's great. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the second part of the exam, okay? And in the second part of the exam, uh, I'm gonna give you uh, a picture and you're gonna talk about that picture for about yeah. 90 seconds, okay? So, Pau, you're gonna go first, okay? Um, and I want you to uh, describe what you can see in the photograph, okay? So you've got 90 seconds okay. to do that. This is a, a photo that uh, shows a, a meeting of uh, some friends that probably uh, they are having a dinner. Uh, we, can, uh, we can see four, four people, uh, two boys and two girls, probably they are couples. Uh, um, they are, for example, uh, one of them uh, is uh, drinking uh, or an orange juice and the other one uh, a, a glass of water. Uh, probably they are talking about uh, their problems, uh, the things that they, they like. The, the image is showing uh, a friendly uh, attitude between, between them and I suppose that is because they are uh, close friends that normally uh, meet uh, to, to talk about uh, their, their things and uh, this reminds me when I meet with my, my friends of uh, the primary school, when I talk a lot of things about my, my week or my month because I can't uh, see them uh, every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that it's a nice occasion to, to talk about many things. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Pat, for that. Um, and now, uh, Joan, it's your turn. This is uh, your picture. So oh. I want you to talk about that for about 90 seconds, okay? Okay, so uh, we can see in this picture uh, four people. They are probably, I, I think they seems like a family. Like a family. 
and they are uh, in the beach, probably in the in the holidays, because it's like when I when I used to to go with my family to the beach in uh, in my grandparents' town in Oliva, which remembers me to to this, uh, and I think they are going to play with uh, with the chest to do, for example, uh, uh, sand castles or maybe uh, swimming or like playing with uh, with the child because. Uh, if you, if you have a child, they, they always love, when they are so little, they always love the, uh, the beach. And uh, it looks like a, like a quiet place because there aren't any more in the picture, but, but I think they are going to, they have a, a toys for the, for the children, so they are going to play with the children in the, in the beach. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, we can see that uh, it's a quiet place, so maybe it's not. It's holiday for this family, but no, uh, it's not a holiday in all the in all the region or all the the country because uh, they are not full there. They are empty of uh, of people, or maybe it's a no not knowed place and uh, no no a lot of people know about it, and they could be alone in the in the beach. Okay, okay, that's great. That's great. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Now, we're going to move on to the final part of uh, the exam. And this part of the exam, uh, you need to interact with each other. That's very important, okay? Um, so, uh, you can see here at the bottom of the sheets there, uh, you've got um, some things to discuss there. So, I'd like you to discuss that together, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to start uh, asking Joan uh, about uh, his favorite meal. What's your favorite meal? Joan? Oh, my favorite meal is uh, paella, but no, not paella. My grandmother's paella, because I think it's the best. It's the best meal in the world. Yeah, normally the the paella of uh, our family is normally the the best one, best. because in some places uh, I think that they don't know how to to cook it. They put a lot of uh, ingredients that probably are not uh, in the original or the traditional recipe of uh, paella and normally the, this dish is better to, to eat it uh, in Valencia and especially uh, at home. No, and in, the, in, in Valencia for example uh, there are a lot of kind of paella you can, for example your grandmother maybe uh, put some ingredients that my grandmother uh, didn't. Yes, uh, but it's true that there are some rules uh, because uh, in some places uh, they put things that in, uh, in no that that doesn't exist in in another in, in any kind of, of paella. For example, when uh, you go to the supermarket, sometimes you can buy uh, prepared uh, paella that contain, uh, for example. Uh, pepper or uh, this kind of things. Yes, and there are, uh, for example, seafood paella and um, montage paella, it's called it in some, some places. For example, in my, uh, my grandparents' town, is, there are these this two kinds of uh, paella, the montage paella and the seafood paella. And, but maybe you say that if you go to another uh, part of, uh, of uh, Valencia, you can eat uh, the other kind of paella with other ingredients or the same kind of paella, for example, seafood paella, but with other, with other ingredients like, uh, I don't know, crabs or something like that, that we didn't put it, we don't put it in, uh, in my town. Yes, I agree because the, the weather and the conditions of, of Valencia are so different in the different uh, places. For example, uh, next to the, the sea, normally you can uh, uh, put seafood in the paella and in other places uh, where there are, uh, for example, farms with uh, chicken and this kind of, of animals, uh, the recipe of uh, paella changed. But, uh, for example, when you go to... I remember when I went to Madrid, Madrid for example, I, I saw a paella that made me cry. <laughs> yes, uh, um, I had... Uh a similar experience when I went to Granada, uh, there, there, were a, a, there was a paella in the, in the restaurant and I, I wanted a paella but uh, the, the waiter said to me, 
Are you Valencian? I say yes, and uh, he said me no, so you don't have to, <laughs> to test it. this paella. <laughs> but uh, apart of paella, uh, you prefer to eat in out of your home or eating in? Okay, uh, in my opinion, it's better if you eat out, but uh, it's uh, for sure it's more expensive. So it has the, the good part that you don't cook and uh, all these things. Uh, it's so expensive. Yes, uh, it's true that when uh, I have the possibility to go to eating out with my pa uh, my parents, I prefer to eating out because of the money. But if I uh, haven't got, uh, if I haven't this possibility, uh, I prefer to eating in because with my uh, capacity or with my uh, money, I can uh, eat in a place that uh, mm, cook things. Uh, uh, better than in my, my home. And it depends on uh, who cooks, I think, uh, also because if I have to eat in my, uh, in my grandparents' uh, house, I prefer it because it's like, a, it's better than a restaurant for me. But maybe uh, if you go and eat out in a, in a good restaurant, it's expensive, but uh, you can have a great experience. Yes, I think that it's important to, to looking for the the indicate restaurants to eat uh, the speciality of this uh, of this place. For example, I never go to eat, for example, pizza to a kebab because the speciality is the, the, the kebab. And I don't know. I don't used to to go to eat out because I'm uh, I'm studying, so I, I don't have a lot of money. But when I eat out, is because, for example, I have uh, I have classes and uh, to in the morning and uh, also in the, uh, the evening so I need to eat in the university or of near and uh, it's like an emergency so you can go to the kebab restaurant but you eat um, okay. a cheap thing okay thank you very much that was uh, that was lovely thank you very much thank you for coming um, you know you we will send you your results okay. soon okay <laughs> thank, thank you. you thanks bye, bye. bye now